Jack Lamps. So this video is going to be seven misconceptions that I've encountered because I'm an artist. Number one, art school makes you good. When I tell people that I'm an artist and I show my business card, they see what I do and they are like, did you go to art school? And I say, yes, I've been to art school. And they're like, oh, that's why. Why art school equ like is equals you're good? No, it really depends. And I know a lot of people who are amazingly talented, they didn't go to art school. And there's some people who are going to art school and they're not as good as some people who didn't go to art school. Like, it's not a guarantee of what some sort of level of skill set whatsoever. Number two, being an artist is an easy thing. I do think that one of the artists thing to be is a mom. That's the first one. Second is probably to be a creative person. Anyone who's creative and has ideas and is trying his best to put them out there in any art forms, I think it's a very hard process to do. You constantly self-loving yourself, being secure, trying to organize your ideas, and you have this like crazy mindset of just wanting so badly to just make things. As a creative person myself, I never stop thinking, I never stop wondering stuff, I never stop wanting to get better. Sometimes it's a little bit overwhelming because my brain never stops. And so being artistic is not easy at all. Number three, being an artist isn't a real job. That usually comes when I say to people that I make a living with my art. So there is a misconception about the words itself, being an artist. You can be a musician, you sell your music, you could be an actor, you get paid to do your work. You're writing books, then you're a storyteller, you're writing stories. And you get paid to make them. How crazy that sounds that someone makes like illustration or drawings or paintings can't be paid. <laughs> If you think it's okay to buy music, if you think it's okay to buy movies and books, then it's also okay to pay for fine art prints or sculpture, paintings. It's exactly the same. It's just a different art form, but it's actually a real job. You could be a freelancer, you could be a graphic designer, you can be an animation, you could be a self employed artist, you can sell on web shops. And if you think about it, art is everywhere. And yes, we get paid to make it. Number four. Artists are so arrogant. So that's a big misconception. To be honest, I met many people during my school, like art school and after, and 99% of the artists that I, that I met and I talked to, I've just met nice people and we are just so insecure sometimes that it's just either we feel bad or we just try to compensate by trying to feel better and sound a little bit like we know things more than you, but no, it's not the case. And so, like I said, I probably met two people in my entire life that were literally bragging and full of themselves about their ideas and concepts and all those things, and they didn't actually show the work. Yeah, this is a misconception that artists are arrogant. It's just in every job, in every field, you will have people who are super arrogant or not. It depends on the people, not necessarily their job. Number five, this is so easy. I can do it myself or my three-year-old can do the same. <sighs> that comment. So that's a big misconception in terms of like thinking that a piece of art isn't valuable because of the artist who made it is either childish or you can do it yourself or whatever it might be. All I have to say about this is, if you think you can do it yourself, then do it! Nobody's forcing you to pay for a piece of artwork that you can do it yourself. If you think that your three-year-old can do the same, then just go on. Give him some paint, give him a canvas, tell him to paint and sell it for thousands of dollars on Etsy. Usually, when you look at an art that it looks like naive, it's actually done on purpose. 99% of the time, that artist has his own style and developed something within the years. It's not just about the outcome, it's about the ideas, the concepts, the, the experience of the artist and the tools and all the maturity of an artist that can't be compared to what a child could do. It's not just art, <laughs> that's just so much more. Number six, artists are broke. You probably don't eat. 
that's a funny one because I went grocery shopping this morning and believe it or not, I do eat food. <laughs> this is just a misconception in a way that people, I think, who say that, they just don't understand exactly what it means to sell your work. And they only think about maybe artists being like in a museum or um, a art exhibition or very close-minded environment. And this is just one little part of the art industry that is super massive. An artist isn't automatically broke. It really depends on how his career is developed, how old he is, and like lots of different factors. I consider myself being okay. I don't make a lot of money. It took a long time for me to be where I am right now, but I'm getting there. Number seven, you're an artist because you haven't found anything else to do. And the only thing I wanted to say to this, which was said to me online, is I'm an artist because I chose to. I was 11 years old, it was an art contest in my school, and we had to draw a little phone card design for the first time in my life, experienced two things at the same time, which was to make art for a purpose, like a story, whatever it might be, and competition with other students, like other kids. This was so amazing. <laughs> That's when I decided <laughs> at 11 years old that I wanted to be an artist. So 99% of the people that you think that didn't choose this industry, they actually chose it. This is an intense job. We have to think about a lot of things to be able to make money with it. The mindset, you know, it's, it's very stressful sometimes. And so I don't think anyone's going to purposely decide that unless they have another choice that makes them happier. There you have it. That's the misconceptions that I found. And I hope that you'll enjoy the video. If you have any more of the misconception that people told you, whether it's like from people online or your family members in regards to being an artist and that is actually not true, I would love to hear from you. Just post the comment below and tell me what it is. That will be it for the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.